Senator Knopf and Senator O'Brien. Madam President, I ask permission for myself and Senator O'Brien to speak about a friend who passed away yesterday. And I'd also like to uh, respectfully request that the chamber observe a moment of silence at the end of our statements. Colleagues, Becky Rocco was a friend and a constituent of mine who passed away suddenly and unexpectedly yesterday. Becky was a 41-year veteran of the Calhoun ISD, where she established herself as a statewide expert on education management in the revised school code. She was so successful, in fact, that multiple counties, including all three in my district, have relied on her legislative leadership and advocacy. As many of you know who have dealt with education issues, Becky was also an invaluable resource to a lot of policymakers around this town. She was a staunch supporter of education and children and was always available to share her expertise and has been key uh, to my decision-making process through the years, especially in my uh, term on the, uh, House Energy, or the House Education Committee in my first term of office. She truly was a good friend and cared about our public education and system, and system in the state of Michigan. She advocated for teachers, school districts, and especially all the children that we are trying to set policies to educate properly in the state of Michigan. Becky's passing is a tremendous loss to the education community, and especially to her family. And so I'd ask that you please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. And now I'd like to turn over the podium to Senator O'Brien. When I learned yesterday of Becky's passing, my first reaction was sadness. Sadness for her family, for those in education, and for students around the state of Michigan. During her years in education, she was well known as an advocate, cheerleader, and champion of students. As a lobbyist, she was known for her candor, knowledge, and effectiveness. Since yesterday, there's been an outpouring of emotions from those who knew her and worked with her. Memories frequently shared included, she taught me the ropes, she took me under her wing, she made me a better lobbyist, she knew how to work collaboratively, she knew how to get the job done, and her enthusiasm was contagious. While she was not my constituent, I worked with Becky on education issues for my entire legislative career to date. She was quick to share resources and information that would help me as I debated issues. More importantly, she was an advocate for using research and best practices when shaping education policy. There were times I struggled with uphill battles, and Becky would often leave me an encouraging voicemail. Calhoun County has lost an education giant, but as we, her friends and family, celebrate her life, I would like to think that she has left something with many of us who worked with her. We will carry on her lessons of passion, collaboration, and innovation. More importantly, we will continue her legacy of student learning and aiming for the stars. To her family, we expressed our deepest sympathies. Becky's family includes her husband, Doug, and daughter, Lauren. We hope the many treasured memories bring the family some comfort in the hours, days, and weeks to come. We hope the family will know of our deep appreciation for the work of their wife and mother. And as Senator Knopf said, the entire family remains in our prayers. Thank you. Members, if you would please rise for a moment of silence. <laughs> 